G'day, my name's Sam Gilchrist and this is my 620C Devil powered by the new V6 Yami 300. Been a long project this one. I had the 520 centre console Sea Devil powered by the 150 Yami prior to this boat. And I never thought in my lifetime something like this had happened, but here we are. It's and it's truly magic. First time we launched was just before Christmas with the jetty boating crew doing the uh, the water test. And it's the most nervous I've ever been launching a boat. I've launched and retrieved boats thousands of times and never really worried about it. But for some reason, backing this in and turning the key was a, a really exciting but nerve wracking moment. Keeping the engine below 2000 RPM for the first two hours was, was close to torture. Uh, and then I had to sort of mix the you know, traveling or rev range while traveling up for the next uh, few hours per the engine running requirements. But once we, we got through that little period, we got to open her up and oh, it's, it's magic. It goes so fast, goes so hard, and per the name, just eats the ocean. Any sort of chop just destroys it. I was only talking to my main decky, Paulie Ray, on the way here, and he said, make sure you tell him, bros, your, your number one decky's just blown away by this boat. He can't believe what it can do. It's the best boat ever. He, he said to me a lot, you know, while we've been in it, are you stoked, are you stoked? And I guess I've been, I don't know, not hiding it, but inside, like, I'm just absolutely over the moon. Is it? A few new features in this engine which, which weren't on the 150. I mean, the 150 was an exceptional performer, fuel efficient, super powerful out of the hole for the little boat. And this engine just goes to another level again. It's propped perfectly. The steering, the electric steering is finger touch sort of steering, but it doesn't, it, it feels like you're connected to the engine. Uh, you can adjust the steering tension if you like. The whole shot and mid-range acceleration in this engine is unbelievable. And, and that's what these boats need. The dead rise in these hulls needs an extraordinary amount of power to take advantage of it so you just cut through the sea instead of sitting on top of it or bogging down in it. Uh, the Hellmaster was a you know a careful consideration when, when building the boat. The Hellmaster is integrated with um, the Yamaha cruise control feature and the Yamaha gauge system which all links through the Simrad electronics. I've only had the boat for a couple of weeks now and we're actually dropping it in for its, its first uh, 20 hour service. The Hellmaster and the, the fish point feature has already changed the way we fish and has been the difference between catching and not. Um, there's one instance on, on one of the bait grounds off, off cost where we were targeting slimy mackerel to then uh, use them as live baits for marlin where no other boat on, on the bait reef were able to catch slimies and we were able to spot lock with the outboard using uh, the Hellmaster fish point feature, catch our bait and then deploy them and, and caught two marlin. The autopilot feature has also changed the way I fish. I've not used autopilot before and when chasing pelagics, uh, particularly marlin, being able to set your course or track to a waypoint enables us to be at the back of the boat, putting out teasers, rigging baits, putting out a spread of lures, everything we need to do, whereas previously you had to have someone at the helm all the time. Plot your course or just press course hold on the uh, autopilot panel. We can run down the back, clear the spread, clear teasers, the other anglers are uh, fighting the fish and the boat will keep tracking on the course as opposed to without it where you just end up doing a circle on top of yourself and, and causing a lot of dramas. Boat's only young, uh, we've got a lot more adventures uh, to go on yet. Our, our, my wife and I's little boy, our littlest son, caught his first snapper, kingfish, and saw us catch a couple of marlin the other day, so you know, it, it doesn't get much better. And there's a few special thank yous to go out to people. Um, firstly, first, my wife, uh, very understanding. It's, 
significant acquisition in anyone's book and certainly ours. Um, thank you, darling. Uh, the Jetty Boating Crew, Chris, Ella and Clado in the service department, you know, these sort of projects don't come together without a, a professional team, you know, that helped me the whole way in, when, when it came to purchasing the engine, uh, the fit out, servicing. You can tell a lot about a, a, a a mechanical workshop by the cleanliness of it, and this is a, a very professional outfit. Uh, John and Karen from Northern Beaches Marine, uh, the Sea Devil owners. Uh, this is our second boat we've bought from those guys, and um, they're just wonderful people, wonderful to deal with, and can't say thank you enough. Um, Yamaha, Simrad, Mako, and Daiwa Australia, without, without those companies uh, supporting what we do and in the recreational fishing space, you know, none of this is possible. So truly, thank you all. It's greatly appreciated.